Have a listen to this. Have you ever wondered why thunder seems louder at night or wondered if it's just you? Well, it's actually not just you. There is some science behind it. So let's look at this. So here's a line of storms coming through the overnight. You see they are elevated. They're more so elevated through the nocturnal hours because we are lacking that low level instability. So when we're looking at the instability, we also usually talk about capes. So that's the representation of that. So during the day you have those reds and those purples. That is very unstable air mass thanks to all that surface heating from the sun. So as we progress through the evening that's when we have our peak instability and through the overnight it dies out. We have our minimal instability through the pre-dawn. So you see right there we're down to our yellows maybe some oranges surviving the night. So that is all thanks to our temperature profile. So down at the surface we actually uh, cool down quite quickly and then aloft it's actually warmer. So just a couple hundred meters above the surface is actually warmer and that is more so stable. So we have a little layer of cold air at the surface. So what that does is it allows the, uh, low, the colder air to propagate that sound from the thunder uh, more efficiently. So that rolls uh, along the surface that also bounce off that inversion and that's why you hear prolonged thunder and louder thunder.